closure is Velcro. Let me see. Because it's hoisted up. You look very pretty. And, and clips for you to decide. My most frequently asked question is, where did you get the chicken diapers? And I want to give you an answer, but all of the chicken diapers that I love the most are not available for purchase at the moment. So I've been scraping the corners of the internet, Google searching, Facebook searching, Etsy searching for diapers that will be as good as or good enough compared to the diapers that I love the most. I got a package and this is a diaper that I'm going to try for you and we're gonna see if it's good and we're gonna see if it's something that I can recommend. What I'm about to show you is from an Etsy shop called Chicken Boutique. It's spelled like that. And this is the link. I'll also put that in the description. Here is the diaper. I love this pattern. It feels very similar to diapers that I've bought in the past. Oh, it has Velcro. I'm gonna give you my first impression and then we're gonna try it on Tina. Each diaper is $20 and the shipping was $4.79. I also calculated the shipping to my old address in Las Vegas and the shipping was the same cost. So within the US, I believe it will cost $4.79 to ship if you buy one item. Of course, that can increase if you buy more. These are available in the US and at this time I tried to use an international address to see what the shipping would be, but unfortunately I don't think that they ship internationally. The sizing is a little unclear to me. There's no sizing chart, but in the description of each listing, it says you can get a Sarama diaper, a Bantam diaper, a standard diaper. And I even saw some listings say that they can make diapers even bigger for other size chickens. You need to message them to specify which size you wanna buy and to learn more about if that size will fit your breed of chicken. So what I did was send them a picture of my favorite diaper next to a tape measure so that the sizing could be similar to that one. And for Tina, they suggested that the Sarama size would be best for her. Otherwise, the sizing isn't super transparent. You'll need to rely on communicating with them via message to find your best fit. Let's talk about the style of diaper. On this one, there is no tummy fabric and that's my preference for my birds because all the diapers that I've used that have tummy fabric, I found that when they're rolling around dust bathing, they can get their feet caught up in it or if the diaper happens to sag a little low, they can also get their feet caught up in the fabric. It's also tail loop style, so you secure this around their tail before you bring the straps up over their head and connect it. I prefer this style of diaper because I think it carries the weight of the load the best because it doesn't sag down below their vent as much as some other diapers do. My favorite type of closure is Velcro. By the looks of the listings, I thought this was gonna come with snaps and I'm happily surprised that it's Velcro. There are pros and cons to both. Of course, Velcro wears out more quickly every time you open and close it, every time you wash it and the snaps will hold up better. The benefit of Velcro is that it's easier to use, requires less hand dexterity, less precision, less force and the snaps take more effort. You have to line them up and press them closed. This can also be specific to your bird. Maybe you have a bird who can get out of Velcro and you absolutely need to find a diaper with snaps on them. The exterior fabric is consistent with my favorite kind of diapers. I think it's cotton. It comes in over 30 very cute patterns. I love pattern diapers because if you get poop spillage, then the pattern will obscure any staining that happens. This interior fabric, feels actually quite similar to what's on the outside. And I'm wondering if it will be waterproof. I'm not a huge fan of this stitching on the edges, but I think that critique is a little unnecessary until I actually try this out. One other thing is that the straps are adjustable on this. So it arrived with the straps as small as it can go. And I was like, that's not gonna fit her. But when I elongate them, like that is definitely her size. One super important disclaimer is that what works for me and my favorite style of diapers might be different from what works for you and what you prefer. It can also be different from bird to bird. So please consider this just the opinion of a person who uses a lot of chicken diapers. I am by no means any expert. I say in videos to make sure that you open the Velcro and adjust the straps before you get your bird so that you can save time 
And for the first time, I'm actually gonna do that on camera. Tina slept in a Peckington size three, so I'm gonna take this off of her and she's gonna get a little irritated. We're gonna get a little bit more calm and a little bit more happy before we try again. Cause I love you. Love you so much, girl girl. You get a little beaky beaky. Cause you're happy girl. Love you. Your mommy loves you. Your mommy loves you. We're gonna try something new today. We're gonna try something new. All right, here are the tail straps going around the tail. At first I'm noticing that it could probably be a bit of a tighter fit around the tail. I'm sending the straps through her legs and I didn't elongate the straps too much, but it's very easy to adjust as you're doing it. This maybe it's too tight. Let me see. No, it's not. It looks really good on her. I actually like how this busy pattern contrasts her very neutral feathers. And my concern about the tail loop being too big is fine because it's hoisted up by the back strap. You look good. It looks really good on her. It looks like a good fit. An immediate first test we can try to see if this is comfortable is, is she gonna walk? Is she gonna freeze? Is she gonna walk backwards? How is this gonna go? Is it nice? Do you like it? It's new, it's nice. You look so pretty. You look very pretty. Do you need a raisin? Do you need a raisin for your troubles? Let's get the girl a raisin. You deserve it very much and I'm very proud of you. Is that delicious? You want another reason? This is your favorite snack because you're good at life. I'm trying to find a small one because you have a small mouth. Okay. Good job, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, okay, that's enough. That's a lot of sugar, babe. I'm gonna let her wear this for a few hours, at least four hours, I'd say, and let it accumulate poop and see how it holds up. One of the things I'm suspicious of is if that interior fabric is gonna be waterproof. And I don't know if Tina is gonna be the right bird to do a good test with, cause she doesn't have super runny poops, but I'll try to give my best assessment later in the day. I just went to the grocery store and I've come home to an upsetting discovery. You see that white right above the diaper and right under her tail? Yeah, that's poop. Maybe I'll try to obscure it so that you're not too grossed out. This diaper does have a tail notch, which means there's a little V right under her tail. And I've always wondered why people put those there when it can mean that poop comes up over it. I don't know if this means I need to make this tighter on her. So I'm going to clean this up and do that right now. So I removed the poop clump that was sitting at the back. I tightened the straps, but I can still see her vent if I look behind her. And I think that might be from two things. One is that tail notch, there's a V in the back, and it also could be because the tail loop that I wrap around her tail is so big. I'm not ready to give a verdict on if I think this is a good option. It probably depends on the size of your bird and all things like that. I love you. You look very pretty. Yeah, you look so pretty today. You're nice and sweet. Come here, baby, see? You're very safe. I promise you're very safe. I love you, sweet. You're nice and friendly. Love you. 
pickles. Oh my God, that tickles so bad. Tina's been wearing her chicken boutique diaper for five hours now, and I can't seem to get the pouch to sit right under her tail such that poop doesn't fall out. Where that tail notch is, I can see her vent. I won't show you, but I can fully see her butthole if I look behind her. That's not gonna work for us long-term, and I think that I need to try it a little bit more. So what's my verdict? Does this work for Tina? I don't know yet, but does this work for your bird? I also don't know. I hope that this video contains enough information and clips for you to decide if it's something that's even worth trying. And then if you try it, let me know if it worked out for you. Say goodbye.